Hello everyone, welcome back to HB Tutorial. Today I will show you how you can make a grappling hook game in Scratch. Now this is a preview of the game. As you can see that's the town, that's all. And a small character right here is also have a blinking effect as you can see. And if I click on space bar, my cat will immediately start following my mouse. And wherever I click, it should go cat then and then it goes. And even if I touch on these obstacles, it also stops. And wherever I put my cat or go, it also leaves trail behind like a bat so that is basically the whole game if you are new to my channel make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one now to see the coding part so to watch till the end of the video now let's start the coding part in this tutorial we will use blocks like the motion block, loop block, the pick random block, variables, and the new block called the pen block. Now, before you start, you need two sprites a player, which I have two sprites one is an idle and another is a blink, like that. Next, I have another sprite called the hook. It's simply just a hook. Next, go to the player. Now let's first go to the animation. For that, get a when the flag is clicked, controls forever. Go to look, switch cost, get two switch costumes. And then change this one switch costume to costume one. Next, go to the controls. Wait, pick random from the operators, pick random one, two, five, and then we switch costume to costume two. Next, get another switch costume, and then get a wait one second, change it to point two seconds. Now, if you try it, it blinks from about one to five seconds. Next, Get a when green, get another when green flag is clicked. Go to motion, get a XY, depending on which position your player is at. Next, get a point in direction, change this to zero, and then go to lux, go to back layer. Next, create a variable. You can just rename this variable by right click on it and call this is, is grappling. Take a set is grappling to zero. Then go to this add extension and choose the pen option. Next, you can erase all. Next, what you need to do is go to events. And when the space key is pressed, go to controls, if, operators, if D, if is grappling is equal to zero, then it should set D is grappling to one. Go to controls, get a repeat until, and then, Go to sensing repeat until mouse down. Go to motion. Point towards the mouse pointer. And go to events. Broadcast. Grappling. Grapple. Now that is done. Let's now code the hook. What I get when the green flag is clicked. Go to the pen option, get a pen up, 
and the set pen size to five, set the pen color to black, and go to lux, hide. Next, go to events. You know, when I receive grapple, go to lux, show. Next, go to front layer, go to motion, get the go to, not random position, but our player. And then point in direction, go to operators, go to sensing, change the stage option to player, direction of player, which means if a player is at zero degrees, so it's pointing at zero. But if I tilt it a bit, and now if you try it, it also gets tilted. So now that is good. Next, what we want to, what we want to do is go to the pen option, get a get the eraser pen down. Next, go to controls, get a repeat until, go to sensing, touching the edge. Next, go to the motion, move, move 20 steps, go to the event, and finally broadcast. Now that is done, let's go to the player. What you need to do is get a when I receive hook, go to the pen option, get the pen down, set the pen size to 10%, set pen color to a very light color. I think I think eight design will work. Next, what you need to do is get a repeat until go to sensing that repeat until touching hook. It should move twelve steps. Go to the variables. Get a set is grappling to zero. Now if we try it, if you can see we have our character, if we use click on space, it moves around and if we click, our hook spawns. And as we are moving, a line is being drawn like a pathway. So now if you want, you can make some obstacles or like walls and it is very easy you can just make some random squares like that and then go to the hook gonna repeat until touching edge or touching the sprite one or the walls whoops Now, if we try it, our character spawns. You can turn around if you click on space. And if we click, it grapples on to the walls or even the edge. And that, now let's add a small sound to our game. For that, the only thing you need to do is get a when the green flag is clicked, controls, forever. Let's go to the sounds category. Already have a sound called the dub set. And make sure you take the play sound dub set until done. Now we click on the green flag. You can see we, it, it, the sound is playing. And our game is working right here. You can
can use a grappling hook and wherever we got trail is being left and there's also collision so now that is it for this tutorial hope you like it make sure you like and subscribe and then the notification bell to stay notified for any video lesson thank you